Hello guys, welcome back to Pokemon Go video. So how are you guys? How are you doing? So first of all, I'm here with the uh, the topic of the S2 cells, which determines the location, guys, for the X-ray pass. So this is the hot topic that is running in uh, Pokemon Go right now. Like many of you will be uh, confusing with what is like S2 cells and uh, how it is useful for uh, determining for uh, exit pass and also like uh, how it works and what is s2 cell everything and also like how to use it so first of all i'm here to i'm here with this video making this video because like uh, i believe i can uh, clear all your doubts about that and i can i can also make a video on that so that uh, you can also see this video and i ca can come to know about uh, the information and meaning of how i mean it's social and how it works so like uh, as far as i collect information about this so i will share my uh, up to my knowledge guys in this video so i believe uh, i can come with i can come up with all your doubts and i believe that i uh, will be clear uh, after seeing this video so so before starting this video i have to tell you that i i know and i pretty much sure that this video will be very long uh, as i'm going to explain all the information that i know about s2 cell so i request you all guys please stay calm just relax sit back and enjoy this video and see this video full without skipping anything in between if you skip anything in between then you will of course and i will guarantee you that you will miss uh, some points some important points about the s2 cell all right so this video will be long guys i can show you that i just request you that please see the video full and let me know in the comment section all right guys so let's start the video guys so first of all before starting this video i have to uh, explain on uh, how to get the x pass as many many of your players ask me in the live stream also in my video many videos in comment section to make another x ray pass video on how to get the x pass like that so i thought of uh, I, I thought that let me include that topic also in this video so it will be a nice startup to uh, start s2 information yes guys so first of all how to get x pass you have to do more rides in sponsor gyms or non sponsor gyms anyway but i recommend or only uh, i recommend only sponsor gyms sponsor gyms like geo gyms in india and starbucks in foreign country all right guys just do as much as well as much you can and also like uh, just target like large parks in which uh, you can find some gyms uh, with uh, like sponsor gyms and you can do rides there also target more parks if you can target more parks to for the gym rides and also like increase your gym badge level all right guys increase your gym badge level to gold or silver which increase the chance of getting exposed i'm not guaranteeing you that if you get a gold or silver badge guaranteed that you will get exposed i'm not guaranteeing that i'm only saying that you will only have chance high chance of getting the x pass if you get a gold badge or silver badge all right guys i'm not guaranteeing you all right don't confuse with that all right guys and also you have to win you have to win the gym ride all right if you're doing a any ride like tire one tire two tire three tire four tire five any ride you have to win that ride and no problem after winning the ride no problem if uh, the pokemon fled away after you cast the uh, right boss no so no problem in that but you have to win the ride you have to gym uh, you have to win the gym ride all right guys yes but don't see like if uh, if you also found like tire one tire two tire three in uh, geo gyms like sponsor gyms don't leave that as it is a tire one tire one ride why should i do that tire two ride why should i do that tire three why should i do that don't see like that guys just go and do rides in all the tire one two three four five all right to get the x pass maybe like uh, 
if if any uh, expas comes in that uh, gym where you uh, where you saw the uh, like tier one, tier two, tier three uh, gym race which is going on a sponsor gyms. If uh, expas comes there, then you will miss all the chance. So just do rides in all the gyms. So try to get more gold badge and uh, silver badge uh, from I mean uh, all the sponsor gyms like Geo and sponsor gyms in foreign country. So and also like and also like I know that guys you all did many rides in sponsor gyms or Geo gyms. But what to do, guys? Uh, you were like uh, telling like uh, you didn't uh, see expansion now. Like uh, like uh, no one can uh, do anything about that. It is only up to Niantic to give expas because the server the system is only selecting the players and it is started selecting more newcomers more than 50 percent newcomers and uh, more than 50 percent newcomers are receiving the expas so like the system is targeting the newcomers so you will allow you will also have, will have the chance but guys unless and until if you have the expas you cannot join the mutual ride if anyone doing uh, the ride or your friend is doing that. I have also seen that many of you asking that uh, what is the code, what is the code or the location for uh, the mutual ride which you are doing. I am saying that unless and until if you don't get the expas, you cannot, you cannot join the mutual ride. It is not a normal ride. All right, guys. If you get the if you get the expas, you can do the mutual ride. Otherwise, you cannot join the ride. You cannot do that ride. All right. And also, like there is no there is no like uh, place or area or gym that we already know that when when and where the ex exit pass is going to take place in future. No one knows about it. All right, guys. As many of you also asked me about this, like uh, when is the next, uh, I mean, uh, in which gym, which location the next x ray pass will take place. I am saying that no one will know about that, no one knows about it. When the x pass receives, I mean, uh, when you receive the x pass, you can just touch on the x pass and you can uh, uh, click on the get direction option which will appear on the uh, pop up message. And from that, you can get the location of your x pass gym and uh, go to that location and do the ride all right guys so i'm just giving a summary of how to get the expas as many of you asked me and also this is a very good startup for this s2 cell information video so now just get back to the s2 cell information guys actually like s2 cell is like uh, like it is i don't know uh, the actual meaning of s2 cell but i know that the S2 cell is nothing but like uh, it show the 3D dimensional of our earth. I mean the places like how you are seeing in maps and books. Those are like 2D, 2D models. Like how you are seeing the map of like your location in books and in maps in mobile. That's those are like 2D dimension. But S2 cell shows in 3D dimension, guys. Yes. So it shows the 3D dimension of your places. So uh like uh, and also uh, how that s2 cell will help us to find in uh, finding the x i mean to get the x pass i will tell you that yes so actually if we tell that niantic is using the s2 cell uh, in uh, pokemon go and also in ingress to add pokestop to add gyms uh, to distribute the x pass and they are also determining the weather of your location and also many other things with that s2 cell only all right so that's why it is useful for us to uh, get the uh, i mean uh, how to get the ex uh, i mean exit pass all right guys because s2 cells shows like uh, if you select a location guys and if you if you want to see how the s2 cell um, i mean how the s2 cells covers that particular location if you see that uh, and uh, from that you can find the famous gyms uh, which you said more excited pass you can see that particular gyms is whether it is coming in that particular area or not and if it is coming in that area then you can do in that uh, in that gym and get I mean you will have the chance of getting the pass so for for that uh, for in that way the s2 cell is useful guys so let me also show you that uh, how the like uh, how the s2 cell covers 
like a particular area let me show you that guys so here we are with the it one site where we can find the s2 cell in particular location where we want so i just took like a new york as a place guys here is a new york you can see here new york and also you can see this uh, central park you can see the center park here guys all right so if like uh, let us assume guys uh, just like example for example if uh, there are like many gyms in this center park which is famous for getting the x pass so i want to find that uh, whether the s2 cell i mean the s2 cell is like as i said it is like a take a take the s2 cell as a as a part of location 3d dimensional location for that particular place all right guys so yes so i want to see that uh, the uh, which which all area the s2 cell is going to cover in this uh, center park area so this is like guys like a mini min level 2 max level 20 max cells 10 all right so like uh, the min level is like uh, tells so the min level tells about the like uh, size of the blocks and the max cells i mean the max tells about the number of blocks blocks means here is s2 cell the s2 cells means what are the locations uh, the this s2 cell is covering that particular location in 3d dimension all right guys so here so like uh, so let me set uh, the min level uh, like uh, into like uh, some 10 or like a 10 and also let me set the max level to 10 uh, like i am setting the both in 10 i mean uh, i mean sorry yeah 10 and 10 all right let me set it let me set it properly yeah so here so max level is like uh, some 25 and it's square so let me uh, make the uh, area so square all right oh i think like uh, i think like the s2 cell is covering the whole whole uh, center park so let me decrease it to 15 the max cell uh, into 15 oh all right it is covering full all right at five all right so let me increase it to 60 and let me check all right anyway like uh, anyway like it covers the whole center park all right guys so now so in this location if you do any gyms or i mean if you do any rides in any gyms which is outer of this area this blue marked area which is called s2 cell if you do outer of this gyms then uh, there's not a chance of getting x pass i'm just telling you assumption guys i'm not uh, telling any uh, true story or and i'm not telling any true anything like uh, yeah if you do here you will get the guaranteed x pass i'm just telling you assumption example so that you can understand what is this i mean what is s2 cell and how it works all right guys so here if example as i told you that if there are famous uh, famous gym uh, gyms located in a central park in yc if players are getting uh, x pass from the here so this is this side of this s2 cell like uh, which will help us what all are those famous gyms uh, like uh, which all those famous gyms can come under this i mean come inside this s2 cell so here we can see that the whole center pass comes inside the uh, s2 cell and also like uh, and also like if you do outer of uh, the uh, blue blue mark location then you won't get the more chance if you find any uh, sponsor gyms or like any gyms right where you where you done and if you found that the which is outer outer of those uh, marked blue uh, location then you won't have that much high chance of getting x pass but if you have done any ride or if you're looking for any gym ride which you found that in which is inside the blue marked s2 cell location 
then of course you will have more chance of getting exposed and also you can also see that Niantic is also will uh, you can also find that Niantic uh, will be also seeing in that particular location as I said you that uh, Niantic is also uh, sees everything in this Pokemon Go with the help of only with the help of S2 cell alright guys so here so here we can see that uh, which you saw that like uh, the whole center park was covered by the blue mark location which is called as S2 cell yes you can see here the whole center park is covered with the S2 cell so if you go, if you uh, do any rides outer of this uh, I mean blue mark location is to sell then you won't get the I mean high chance all right guys so this this is to sell will help you to find out uh, whether the uh, whether the gym ride whether the sponsor gym ride coming inside the s2 cell location or not and if you find if it is coming under that location then you will have the high chance i'm not i'm not still guaranteeing you guys i'm just telling you that you will have high chance not high guarantee i'm telling you that high chance all right guys so this is what the actual uh, information knowledge which i got from actually what is this s2 cell and how it has been getting the x pass so as you saw that so like uh, we can find that how the s2 cell geometry influences the x-rays so whether that only i explained you in this uh now uh, with that map so so yes guys so from that s2 cell we can find like how it influences x-rays like uh, we can find how it influences x-rays only by we can see uh, the s2 cell whether the the uh, gyms are coming under that location or not if it is coming i explained you everything so and also guys i will give that link in the description below so need you need not to worry about that you can also check uh, the s2 cell for your location for your uh, for your location where you did the all the sponsor gyms or starbucks gyms where you did so you can also find if the whether the s2 cell uh, covering your part of uh, location where you did the gym so I will give that uh, website link in the description below you so you need not to worry about that you can also check the same for your location too all right guys so I, I, I think I explained you clearly about that so like uh, and also like and also like uh, also like uh, x-rays are created uh, based on the uh, level 12 s2 cells each cell can only host one x ray per invitation cycle so now you can see here guys each cell i mean the each cell different cell like uh, for a uh, different location so each cell can only host one x ray per invitation cycle so from that uh, from that location blue mark location if you find any gyms comes uh, comes in that location where you did the ride then like uh, you can find many gyms in that location but from that there can only be a chance of like only one uh, gym can uh, get the x-ray pass all right so but still but still it is all related to maps and geography location guys so we don't know the clear point much knowledge about that so no don't confuse with yourself very deep into the location uh, deep into the matter we are uh, like um, we will come to know as as much as we should know all right guys don't put more pressure on that all right it is all uh, based on the geography location that only the person who knows about geography or the maps locations about health he only knows everything about that but that is another matter so the exit can only happen at gyms that are either like sponsored or placed in parks related to open street map tag Yes, as I told you about uh, when I opened the topic about how to get XI pass. So, gyms that hosted a ride before can and will host an XI again and there is no diminishing returns. Alright, so XI can be triggered and there could be like randomness to it. Of course, of course the distribution is very random. Yes, 
of course the distribution very random you can also see like uh, getting exposed in all the sponsor gyms and geo gyms you can only see the exposed like uh, distributed to only like uh, some geo gyms and sponsor gyms so that is why it is called like uh, the exercise system is set randomly so the exercise is triggered only if the gym reaches a minimum amount of weight activity since the last invitation cycle like this like uh, uh, if the gym if the uh, gym ride a sponsor gym ride if it uh, received a cycle of more raid activity like uh, more players getting to that ride more players uh, riding that uh, gym ride doing that gym ride so if that gym ride has more activity like that then it will also have the uh, extra pass chances so like uh, no need to confuse more with that s2 sir guys the matter which i which i the, the knowledge and information which i explained you in the uh, explaining you in this video that is much enough to know about this s2 sir don't need to put more pressure on this because you cannot study more about it at the, as it is totally uh, totally uh, a geographical uh, matter i mean geographical topic all right so like uh, the expert can only acquire inside each s2 cell that passes over your local area so as i said you that uh, if uh, the gym rice is coming under that uh, specific blue mark location s2 cell location if that coming under uh, that location then of course uh, we can get like exit pass chance chances all right so SO cells are like a simple mathematical jo like geography like yeah so you can see that guys when i showed you the uh, location of central park when i showed you that the uh, SO cells only covering some parts around the central park not all the uh, parts location just like we can uh, we are seeing in the open street map like uh, google maps so you can see that that is what called 3d dimensional in 2d dimensional you can see the whole area around uh, the central park but here it is a 3d dimension that's that's what you are uh, uh, see that's what you are seeing like uh, only the some parts uh, covering around the central park that is what called 3d dimensional it only covers some parts not all the parts all right so like uh, you can see that guys like uh, s2 cells can come in different sizes different blocks like different cells all right so like uh, so like donators levels so they are often used by developers get zone so uh, to create some pokey cells and, and also like as i said that niantic is using uh, this s2 cells only to add a uh, pokey shop genes whatever they want so this are donated by uh, levels and they are used by developers developers what niantic developers and uh, yeah so yes guys and also like uh, niantic also as i said that niantic also uses them to control the weather create genes defend pokemon cache hash locations add adding pokey shops adding genes so like that so you can like uh, navigate the map to your local area just like I will give that local uh, that website link in the description below so you can also navigate uh, the SU cell in your location too and let, just like uh, set the parameters in the top it box like uh, just just set it like minimum level 12 max level 12 and max cell strength the option which we saw in that site uh, just set it like a minimum level 12 max level 12 max less i mean max cell strength it will be if you uh, set these options then i uh, then it will be very useful for you to find the perfect cell all right so use one of the drawing tools like uh, just like i showed you there in the side like i choose the square option i i uh, showed you the square option so just choose the square option so you can you can choose anything square circle anything just choose this square option so you can find the s2 cell so like uh, now you like uh, so actually uh not like you can see here guys like uh you can, you can only like remember that extra can oh, only occur uh, once per cell per cycle once per cell that means what guys 
the in that whole uh, cell that whole marked blue location escape can exit can uh, happen only once at one per cell one cycle one cycle rotation or distribution can only seen that one one per cell one uh, per cell and per cycle writing hundred gems inside one cell doesn't benefit you as much as as you're reading a dozen of eligible gym in a higher number of cells yes so as i said you guys you can only get exit pass from only one gym per cell like uh, let, let me explain you more clearly so uh, as, I, as, I, uh, as we saw that the whole center park was covered with the social and also some parts of around the center park so just like example if we saw like a su cell is covering like this in a rectangular part so so if you are writing uh, like if you are writing a dozens like um, like many uh, many writes in that particular cell then that 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 doesn't uh, benefit you as much because like uh, you should select you should see many su cells location in different part of locations and uh, write there also so you will get the expas you will get the chance of expas all right the 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 matter which i'm explaining you that like don't only target uh, only one s2 cell in one location target all the locations by finding the s2 cell so go inside that s2 cell and do that there also don't target only one x i mean only one s2 cell in one particular location if you like uh, if you go to any center park in my city and if you are finding the s2 cell water location covering the around the center park and if you are doing only rides there you won't get much benefit just go around the country and find the different s2 cell location which all location is covering and do uh, gym rides Uh, which are covering which are coming under that s2c location and do uh, rise there also don't target only one s2c location or right, guys so finding like eligible gyms as you said you like uh, like target like uh, all the parks and also like uh, uh, parks and s2c so and also like when it comes under parks finding gyms it is located in parks you can use like uh, like uh, many other mini parks in one location like there will be like many parks in one location like for like uh, focusing on gyms located in parks or similar areas so an easy way like uh, you can check it out like uh, overpass turbo the tool called overpass turbo from in that free online tool it is also a site or pass tool over pass tool i mean sorry so sorry over pass turbo all right guys this is also a online free online tool uh, from where you can find the uh, parks p a r k s parks in your area so from that online free online tool you can find parks in your area and also with that site uh, you can find the su cell so with these two sites uh, find the su cell and also find the gyms in the parks and uh, do rides there so this will may this will may increase the chance of exit pass all right so yes so just uh, do rides there do more rides there and also like uh, so now uh, let us see that uh, like how to like uh, how to find and like uh, like finding the ja uh, like eligibility of gym rides to know the gyms or ride eligible like which are the gyms which are, uh, which are eligible for the ride so like you can see that uh, as i said you as i explained you that uh, take those gyms Uh, which are having the high number of activity where you will find that the mini players are doing uh, like mini rides in that gym like sponsor gyms 
Jio uh, sponsor chain Starbucks in foreign country. So like you can you should find like cumulative riding activity in the last two three weeks. All right. So as I said that uh, go to those gyms which have high activity by players like uh, uh, activity means like uh, you can find the many players are uh, doing rides in the gyms for more than two three weeks. So that gym will be active and the many active uh, active uh, participating players so those also other uh, gyms can also get a high chance of getting spas and cumulative riding difficulty in the last two two i mean two three weeks as you also know the riding difficulty the gym ride difficulty like tire five tire four and also relative riding activity in regards to other gyms in the area like uh if you find act uh, like more players are active in the gym ride which is located in your area uh, then compared to any other area so do rides in your own area to i mean to in case i mean to uh, do more rides in the sponsor gyms so actually like uh, uh, and also like oh my god that's that's tricky <laughs> really so so actually we can also see that Niantic is also using a following formula to calculate the concept we are calling red LGBT points so like red as you can also check it out this red LGBT like what points equal to zero for each computer red in recent weeks so here you can see that guys for each computer right in recent weeks so this is what means guys this means that Niantic is saying uh, and following the formula and seeing the gyms uh, which had the more activity by players from the recent weeks like two two three weeks like that so the gym should have like more activity all right and computer read difficulty computer read participants like uh, activity means like getting uh, more tons of players in each lobby and uh, the rate of difficulty like tire 4 tire 5 is also difficult and uh, like for for more weeks if the gym is uh, so much busy with uh, activities of players then it it will have the chance of getting a pass all right so like uh, also we can we should see that riding where and when it matters riding where and when it matters riding only in exclusive gyms that are located in parks parks which is coming the parks which is coming in every topic guys so the park is more and more important so you should target more parks i mean you should target more gyms which is located in parks and do the right that and also like uh, share and uh, this image like uh, this information with your local reading group always try to write as a group don't shy like always try to do rides with your group guys like sounding players hitting players Sony players don't go away from the sponsor gyms for Starbucks gyms if the gym rides has like tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 I suggest you that do all the rides like tire 1, tire 2, tire 3, tire 4, tire 5 and be aware of the gyms and their S2 placement yes of course if you are like uh, if you are uh, doing any uh, ride in particular location and uh, please check it out that if that location is coming under the S2 cell location the blue mark location check it out whether that location comes under the s2 cell blue mark location that is more important now so remember that there could be also luck and random randomness is also there like and also like uh, like uh, in every s2 cell where an excited bus takes place you are competing with every other rider i mean active rider so branching strategies advise cover as much as s2 cells as, as possible in order to increase your potential as i said you guys cover as much as s2 cell not only in one location find a social in all all other locations all different locations and uh, go right there also don't target only one social one social blue map location one only particular location don't 
target only one particular location target all locations wherever you found a social location and also like I got other other information about a socialist like uh, as we all know that SOS is a mathematical mechanism it is a type of 3d dimensional 3d shape and which is also convert into 2d geometry so uh, we can also see that guys like uh, also like uh, you can check it out uh, also like these SO cells has come in various sizes called levels and there are also hierarchical in other words like a larger cell can be broken down into multiple smaller ones so as you all see as we all saw that site this those blue mark location which is having like type of cells I mean like part of locations only some part of locations covered by the SO cell so for more pics you can also you can also check out this uh, this pic in where you can also you can see that the blue mark locations are covering some parts from the for the uh, water water bodies and some parts uh, in some lands I mean the location but you can also see that some other parts is some other parts is not covered by the blue mark location is to sell only some other parts is only covered by the SO cell so you can see here guys this is called like 3 dimensional it, it doesn't covers all the parts and locations you can see here so only the some parts are covered with the blue mark location is to sell so this is what called so this is what called the larger cell can be broken down into multiple smaller ones so you can see that the large cell it doesn't covers all the parts it broken down into multiple smaller ones this is all the multiple smaller ones doesn't covers all the location also like uh, each cell has a unique number so that is all software developers knows about that so and also like how SO cells influence Pokemon Go here, like how Niantic is choosing, uh, I mean, uh, I mean creating Pokemon Go with this SO cell. So as you can see, here guys, like uh, this SO cells is all determined by their levels. As you uh, as I read that uh, that these come, uh, they come in various sizes called levels. So this like uh, level 10, level 10 are like cells are used to determine Pokemon caught location. Level 10 and uh, 11, level 10 and 11 cells are used to determine the current weather conditions. Level 12 cells are used in the excited dis system distribution. Level 15 cells are used to block military zones from the game. Level 16 cells are used to render the war map overworld map <coughs> uh, level 17 cells are used to determine whether an ingress portal will be imported as stops gyms or not level 20 cells are used to ge uh, generate pokemon spawns pokemon always spawns in the center of level 20 cells so these are cells which is used for different purposes like you can also see that level 20 cells are used for uh, generate the Pokemon spawns, level 17 is used to like uh, adding the uh, portals in uh, ingress and also stops and gyms in Pokemon Go. Level 16 cells are used for uh, for the overworld map for looking the overworld map. Level 15 cells are uh, to use for block military zones for the game. Military zones means those are like privated area where you cannot enter it. And like uh, Level 12 cells are used only for the excited system distribution. So those are the cells which is only used for the distribution. I mean excited by distribution. Level 10 and 11 are used to uh, I mean find out and determine the weather condition in your location. Level 10 cells determine the Pokemon caught location. Wherever you catch Pokemon, it, it, uh, and when you see, uh, I mean after you catching the Pokemon. Uh, in the below uh, you will be seeing that the particular location uh, where you caught the Pokemon so that is determined and uh, used by level 10 I mean uh, with the help of level 10 cells 
uh, Pokemon Go is finding out where you caught the Pokemon. Like uh, example, guys, if you're catching a Pokemon in uh, like just like example San Francisco, so after catching the particular Pokemon in the below of that uh, most of the uh, Pokemon below that, you will be seeing the location where you caught the Pokemon. So with the help of level 10 cells only, uh, the uh, they are telling the location of where the Pokemon caught. So all uh, works and purposes are done with the help of these S2 cells and their levels only guys. I hope now you got <laughs> more information about how the S2 cells is used by Niantic. Yes. That's all guys, that's all for today. I hope, I believe that I explained you all the things in this video. So please let me know in the comment section if you understood the information. Uh, and also feel free guys, feel free to uh, ask me any doubts about this S2 cell uh, in the comment section below. Uh, yes, uh, I know that many of you still didn't understood about the what like my uh, the, about the s2 cell my, many of will be still confessing with that so no problem with that guys my friends please feel free to ask me uh, doubts any doubts about regarding this s2 cell in the comment section below i will uh, try to answer all your doubts and i uh, will reply you as soon as possible so yes guys and also please kindly kindly please do share this video with your friends so though, uh, the fans who are still confused about the S2 cell and how S2 cells works in uh, Pokemon Go, they will also come to know after seeing this video. I believe they will also come to know after seeing this video. So please don't hesitate. Please do share with this video with your friends. Please help your friends to know about this S2 cell. So uh, that's all guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it, it is helpful for you. It was helpful for you. So please help me in the comment section. Thank you so much guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please uh, can you like this video if you like. Also please subscribe to my channel if you are new. Also hit that bell button and do a notification. So you won't miss any of my upcoming lessons and videos. And don't forget to comment below guys about your doubts and how you know, how you think about this video. So thank you so much guys. So we we'll meet you in my next lessons and videos. So bye guys, take care and bye guys.